Now we'll discuss about the skin and fascia of front of leg and dorsum of the foot. In this diagram, you can see from here to here, this is the front of leg and this portion is dorsum of the foot. Here is transverse section of the leg. You can see here skin, then deep to skin there is superficial fascia and deep to superficial fascia there is deep fascia. So first of all, we will discuss about the structure present in superficial fascia. After removing the skin, we will discuss about the structure present in superficial fascia. Important structure present in superficial fascia is here is cutaneous vein that is this is dorsal venous arch in this diagram you can see this is dorsal venous arch dorsal venous arch this dorsal venous arch receives tributaries here one, two, three, four. These are four metatarsal veins. So this dorsal venous arch receives four metatarsal veins. Metatarsal veins. So these are four metatarsal veins, and each metatarsal vein receives two. Digital vein, dorsal digital vein, dorsal digital vein. So these veins drains into dorsal venous arch. On the medial side, this dorsal venous arch joins with medial marginal vein. This is medial marginal vein. This joins with medial end of dorsal venous arch and forms great softness vein. This is great softness vein which passes just anterior to medial malleolus. This is medial malleolus. It passes just anterior to medial malleolus and it ascends upward. And from here it passes behind the joint and then it goes up and it opens into deep vein. Here is lateral end of dorsal venous arch. This lateral end of the dorsal venous arch, it joins with lateral marginal vein. This is lateral marginal vein. And both these veins join to form a small softness vein. So this is great softness vein. Softness vein and this is small softness vein. This small softness vein passes behind the lateral malleolus and then passes on backward side, ascends upward, and in popliteal fossa it opens into deep vein. So these are cutaneous veins present in this region, front of leg and dorsal of the foot. Now these superficial veins, great softness vein and small softness vein, connected with deep vein by perforative veins. So these are clinically very important. So we'll discuss later in other sections. Now, we will discuss about the cutaneous nerve. Here, this portion is supplied by here 
इंफ्रापैटलर ब्रांच ऑफ सेल्फ नेशनल इन दिस एरिया इंफ्रा पैटलर ब्रांच ऑफ सेल्फलर सेल्फ नेशनल विल प्रेजेंट एंड हियर इज सेल्फ नेशनल इट एक्सटेंड्स अप टू बॉल ऑफ बिग टो इट गिव्स अप राइट टू मीडियल साइड सो हियर ऑन लेटर साइड अपर टू थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ लेटर साइड इज सप्लाइड बाय लेटरल कुटेनियस लेटरल कुटेनियस नर्व ऑफ ऑफ दिस एरिया इज सप्लाइड बाय लेटरल कुटेनियस नर्व ऑफ ऑफ एंड दिस लोअर पार्ट हियर is superficial peroneal nerve is present this is superficial peroneal nerve which divides on the dorsum of the foot into lateral and medial branches this is lateral and medial branch and this portion a cleft between first and second toe this small portion is supplied by deep peroneal nerve this is superficial peroneal nerve this is deep peroneal nerve and here the lateral margin of foot is supplied by sural nerve and the terminal part of toes are supplied by plantar cutaneous nerve plantar cutaneous nerve So in superficial fascia, the structures are present. After superficial fascia, we will discuss about the deep fascia. Here is this is tibia. This bone is present on medial side. This is tibia. Here is fibula. This bone is fibula, and this deep fascia. This deep fascia on medial surface of the tibia. Here, it is replaced with periosteum. From here to here, this deep fascia is replaced with periosteum, and here this deep fascia forms anterior intermuscular septum. This is anterior intermuscular septum, and here is posterior intermuscular septum, and here interosseous membrane is present between two interosseous border. and now this leg is divided into three compartments this is anterior compartment this is lateral compartment and this is posterior compartment posterior compartment again divided into three parts by deep this is deep and here is superficial so deep and superficial transverse septum by deep and superficial transverse septum this posterior compartment divided into three parts superficial intermediate and deep part so in the leg region this is modification of the deep fascia deep fascia forms intermuscular septum and transverse septum and here it forms the periosteum now here at the level of ankle joint this deep fascia modified forms retinaculum there are anteriorly there are two retinaculum superior and inferior extensor retinaculum superior and inferior x 
extensor rate map now. Here, this is lateral malleolus, this is medial malleolus, here is anterior border, there is anterior border of fibula, anterior border of tibia at the lower end. Near the lower end, just above the malleolus, there is a transverse band of deep fascia is present. Its thickness is about, its width is about one and half inch, inches. And this is superior extensor endoculum. And there is inferior extensor endoculum, which is present, which is Y in shape, and it has a stem which is attached to here on the non-articular part of dorsal surface of calcaneum. It is non-articular part of dorsal surface of the calcaneum. This stem is present here. This is stem. It has two bands. Superior band is attached with anterior border of medial malleolus. This is superior band. An inferior band merged with plantar aponeurosis. Here is plantar aponeurosis, which it merged with this plantar aponeurosis. So this band is, this y shape structure is inferior extensor retinacula. Now structures passes deep to this these rectaculum. From medial to lateral side, the structures are this is tibialis anterior. This muscle is tibialis anterior. Then and the structure is extensor hallucis longus. Extensor hallucis longus. Then, anterior tibial, here is anterior tibial artery, this is anterior tibial artery, and the structure is deep peroneal nerve, this is deep peroneal nerve, this is deep peroneal nerve. Next the structure is extensor Digitorum longus. This is extensor digitorum longus. And next structure is peroneus tertius. This is peroneus tertius. This is peroneus tertius. Peroneus tertius. Extensor digitorum longus. From medial to lateral side, tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, anterior tibial artery, deep peroneal nerve, extensor hallucis longus, and peroneus tertius. For remembering this, there is a mnemonic. From medial to lateral, the Himalayas, the Himalayas, are not dry place. Are not dry. Tibialis anterior, T, Himalayas, 
एक्सटेंशन हेलोसिस लॉन्गेस्ट एच आर्टरी ई एंटीरियटी वे आर्टरी नॉट नर्व डी पेरियन नर्व ड्राई डी डी फॉर एक्सटेंशन डिजिटोरम लॉन्गेस्ट डी प्लेस डी फॉर Peronius tarsius, peronius tarsius. So you can easily remember the content, contents from medial to lateral side by remembering the the Himalayas are not dry places. Thanks.